Well, guys, back in uh, 19, I believe it was 1996, um, I started uh, doing uh, free driveways for relatives and close friends. Um, I actually even did enti my entire old neighborhood uh, one year, uh, all out of the holiday spirit uh, for Christmas. Um, the reason I did this a little bit was is that I had a lot of friends. Uh, I never do, did do residential pressure washing, but I had a lot of friends that would get family during the holidays and say, hey, Ron, can I borrow one of your pressure washers? I need to do my driveway and my pool deck and everything else. Well, what happens is, what happened was is that every year we write a lot of commercial contracts, and in January these contracts uh, uh, take off. And we usually have to, since we have growth every year, we have to hire new, new, new technicians. And it's a it was a great way to also train these guys. Well, what happened was is a, is a bunch of various different things. Um, obviously, friends had neighbors that were property managers, uh, building owners, uh, restaurant general managers. Uh, it was it was a variety of things. And they, they all thought it was cool that we were uh, pressure washing uh, those driveways for the holidays. And often they would ask my crews, hey, can you do my driveway? Because now my driveway looks so bad compared to my you know, neighbors that you just did. And so we worked it in. A lot, of, a lot of times the guys would go out there. They'd make a little extra cash. They'd get tipped. Uh, also, the funniest thing in the world uh, is, is that um, when we one year we asked, well, how many driveways did you do? And the guy goes, well, we did about, you know, 175 and uh, they go what but we probably did uh, 300 pool uh, areas <laughs> and I go what you know and he goes yeah he says, we, we, we did people didn't want the driveways done they wanted their pool area and you know because they what it would happen was is the neighbors would ask them and then I was I'd allow my guys for cash to go ahead and you know do them uh, matter of fact, I got a funny story on a guy that uh, it was Christmas Eve and he chased my guy all the way back to the shop and he goes, man, you didn't see me at the lights. You, you stopped. I tried to stop you. I, I really need you. You're, you know, you just washed my neighbor's drive, and I wonder how much you'll charge me. And uh, I go, I go, man, buddy. I said, you know, it's it's Christmas Eve. He probably wants to go home. And, and the guy blurts out, I'll give him two hundred dollars. And uh, you know, my guy, you know, his eyes light up, and he's like, you know, I didn't even have to ask him. I'm like, okay, go ahead. You know, go get it done. You know, it's it's all on you, man. And I go, you know, make sure you pay him cash. And uh, he runs back there and does the driveway. The guy drives back over afterwards because it was it, it, at that time uh, my guys would come over to my house and a guy knocked on my door and uh, he knocks on the door and he's all ticked off and he goes, your guy charged me $200. And I go, uh, no, 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 no. You said you were paying him $200. Yeah, well, he was only there 12 minutes. You know, it's like. I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? You know, is the driveway clean? And he's like, yeah, it's great. I'm like, well, what are you complaining about then? You know, you offered to pay him the two hundred dollars, and uh, you know that's how it goes. You know, and uh, that's just that's just one little funny story. But uh, the reality of it is, is that when we did start doing these free driveways, it wasn't the extra work that we get after or the tips that they got and the money they made because I let my guys all keep that stuff. We we started it off as just a good gesture to my friends and family to give them a free driveway cleaning uh, for the holiday season. And what wound up happening is, is we wound up running into customers. Uh, and we wound up, um, when we were doing these things uh, in the field, we, you know, they kind of they kind of knew about it because we would do these driveways in these neighborhoods and they would stick out like a sore thumb. And well, they, and they knew the relative or the friends and then they would ask them, well, who did that? And then they go, oh, you know what? I've got a couple of restaurants. I need their service. I've got a couple of shopping centers. I need their service. And uh, it really became a great program. We do it to this day. Uh, obviously, that list is uh, pretty much the same list that we do year after year. Um, and plus, you know, I get out of giving away pies and cakes and stuff like that. Of course, sometimes, when, some years we actually deliver a pie uh, with uh, the free driveway cleaning uh, as well. But, you know, that's basically how it worked out. And we still continue to do it. And we don't do it for the reason that we gain a lot of business. But uh, the reality of it is, is that we wind up just getting a lot of business from it. So you guys have a great night and have a good holiday.